Good morning, Lighthouse. It's day 15. We've got two weeks behind us. We're on the down stretch. One more week to go. Uh, I hope and I pray that the last two weeks of this prayer and fasting has been a blessing to you, and I hope that you're starting to see the benefits of that. I know a lot of people have expressed to me uh, the, the frustration with it, and sometimes we think when we're fasting it's going to be the greatest time in our life, uh, but that's not really the case a lot of times. This is a time of of you pressing through and really sacrifice, and it's when you're sacrificing, a lot of times you don't enjoy it. So I want to talk to you something that uh, today about something that we, one more thing that we don't like and that we don't enjoy as much, and that is confession. Um, if there's one thing that we struggle with, uh, it's truly being honest with where we're at, and especially when we have slipped into sin or we've allowed habits and addictions to find root in our life that to get to a place where we truly confess what's in our heart. In Psalm 51, I don't, I don't have time to read it today, but if you'll go back and read Psalm 51, it's here where the psalmist is just is presenting his life and saying, Listen, Lord, search my heart. Create in me a clean heart. Renew a right spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence. And don't take your Holy Spirit from me. And what we're doing in confession is truly saying, Lord, search my heart. I confess my sin. I confess what I'm dealing with. I confess uh, the, the doubt and the unbelief and all of that. We, we have to confess those things to God. It's not enough for you and I just to feel sorry for what we've done or what we've said. I've seen people come to the altar and I've seen them cry. I've seen emotion. I've seen them feel bad for what they've done. But there's no true confession. There's no repentance in that. Repentance is turning from that sin, is making a public profession of faith, but also it being very visible that we're, we're trying to turn away from that. It's more than just feeling bad or feeling sorry for what you've done. You've got to truly confess and repent of your sins. 1 John 1 and 9 says, If we confess with our mouth that Jesus Christ is Lord, He will forgive us and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. We, we need to do that. We have to be the one to confess with our mouth and ask God to forgive us and truly repent for what we've done. Not because we feel guilty, not because we feel bad, but because we know it's sin. And we know that we cannot continue to live in sin and expect God's blessings in our life. So in this last week of this fast, and you're praying and seeking God, you're taking more things away, that's great. But I encourage you that as God begins to reveal these things in your life and begins to show you, let it be in your prayer. We talked a couple days ago about boldly, a bold prayer, boldly approaching the throne of God. Listen, in that, let there be confession. Let there be repentance. Receive God's, re God's, receive God, excuse me, receive God's salvation. Receive His forgiveness. And let Him create in you a clean heart and renew your spirit so that you can be, pre be prepared for what God has for you in 2013. God bless you, and I'll see you tomorrow.